Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and boy do we have some really interesting cartel market updates to talk about. Basically some big changes that are going to be made to the way the cartel market works in general and especially with regards to how we're going to get new items and the packs have been revamped completely so we'll talk about that a little bit later but the first thing I want to mention is they did say we're going to be having a spring event. Now this event is going to start on Tuesday tomorrow March 27th and will run all the way until April 17th. So for, for about three weeks, we're going to have a spring event. And during this event, we're going to see some really cool things happen with the cartel market. Now, I don't know if these changes are permanent, like if they're planning to keep it for months going into advance or if they're just planning to have it during the spring event. That's unsure. I'm pretty sure what they're doing is they're making this kind of an experiment and they're going to see how the community takes it. If it's very positive, if they still make a lot of money from this, they're probably going to keep these changes. But anyways, enough of that, let's get into exactly what those changes are. So the first big change is with regards to uh, the direct sale of items. So basically, every new item that is coming out of the next Cartel Market pack, the Ultimate pack, will be put up for direct sale immediately starting tomorrow. So you heard me right, you're gonna see the Unstable Vented Lightsaber, all of the Dark Honor Guard weapons, the new Platinum Mount, um, all of the other stuff will be put up for direct sale on the Cartel Market. Now the only way this can be bad is if the price of the items is really high. Uh, so hopefully that we're not going to see that. Uh, uh, quite a few number of the items are platinum, especially the really nice ones. So maybe those will go up for like an insane price. Normally we see platinums go as high as like 6,000, 7,000 cartel coins, which is effectively 60 to $70. So it's great that they're putting it up for direct sale, for, but for it to be really beneficial to the community, we need to see some reasonable pricing with that. We'll just have to wait till tomorrow to see if that's a good thing. But nonetheless, making it all direct sale basically ensures that if people want a certain item, they can just pay their money and get that item and not have to gamble via the packs. That's one of the best parts about these changes and I'm sure that's going to make a lot of people really happy. It's something they've been asking for a long time. So basically they've done away with the gambling part of it but we still have cartel packs. So let's talk about what those cartel packs will be. So the cartel packs have been revamped completely. The next cartel pack will still be called the ultimate pack but the way it's going to work is each pack will have four items in it. Okay. Three of those items will be any item that has ever been released on the cartel market. So basically they act as grand chance cubes. Um, any item possibly, uh, you know, could be platinum, could be gold, gonna see a lot of the bronze stuff. Grand chance cubes don't have the best drop rates. We'll see if maybe that's been changed a little bit just for the cartel packs. But the bottom line is three items from anywhere and there is no guarantee to get a new item. So although this is called the ultimate pack, it still includes every item from the cartel market. So you can, of course, maybe if you're lucky, get one of the new items, but you will probably get an older item that is not new. So that's kind of the downside. And then the fourth item from the pack will be your, your generic scrap item or your companion gift or a die module. And that is a pretty big change because normally with the previous cartel packs, a die module actually takes up the, the, the slot of a new item. So now they're not including that to be an item, they're including it to be one of those extra things like a companion gift or something like that. Which is great because die modules, usually they, they aren't the best item to get, they, they're not necessarily the most expensive thing on the GTN. So it's great that that's not kind of like taking the spot of, of a potentially a new item. And then also one other big change to the pack is the way it's being priced. So now we're going to see basically an individual pack will cost 200 cartel coins. That's kind of the normal price for one, but they're also going to sell it in a 10 pack super crate that costs 1900 cartel coins and a 30 pack hyper crate that costs 5400 cartel coins. So it actually has gone down in price because normal normally hyper crates only have 26 packs and they can cost anywhere from 5800 to 7000 cartel coins. So here they're selling it for 30 packs um, 30 packs for 5400 and I think that's kind of the normal price so if it goes on sale it's going to cost even less. So it's great that hyper crates are back up to 30 packs, but obviously one of the biggest downsides of these packs are you not guaranteed to get a new item. So there's really no point in like coming up with a new cartel pack. I mean, they've only introduced a handful of new items in the game. We have the, the honor guard weapons, one new mount, some new crystals and stuff. And the chance of you getting a new item, especially from a pool of all of the items that are available in the game right now is pretty low. So I will of course do a pack opening and we'll, we'll put that to the test, but I highly doubt we're going to see a lot of new items come out of this pack. 
So basically, they're advertising cartel packs now to just be three grand chance cubes per pack. That's basically what it is. And even though they lower the price and are giving us more packs, I doubt they're really going to be worth it. But we'll of course just have to evaluate that come tomorrow when we see the new cartel pack released. But wait, there's more. There's a third big change coming to cartel packs and I'm sorry, to the cartel market. And this is kind of a general thing about that spring event I was talking about earlier, which is that from Tuesday, April 3rd until the end of the spring event, which is on April 17th, we will see every single cartel market item available for direct sale. So that's right. Any cartel market item that has ever been released in the game will be put up for direct sale and you will have until April 17th to decide what you want to buy and to get it. Okay, so if there's any item you've possibly been waiting for and you've just been you know, crossing your fingers and hoping to see it as a direct sale, well, it will now be put up for direct sale. And quite frankly, a lot of the prices that we've seen from Bioware in the past have been pretty reasonable for direct sale. I mean, we've seen like the Revan armor sets only costing like 2,200 cartel coins. I believe the Sith Recluse once went as low as 1,600. Um, so they, some of these items can actually be pretty reasonably priced and, and pretty worth it to, to buy off the cartel market. So we'll wait until April 3rd to see what those prices are and I'll probably do a video talking about what I think are some of the best deals, especially if you want to try to sell them and make credits. So that is a quick recap of all the changes that we're going to see to the cartel market. They are some really huge changes and we, we heard about that in the roadmap where Keith mentioned that they're going to be making some big strides. This is definitely some, uh, some huge changes that I think are ultimately beneficial for the community and the way that the packs work. Doing away with the gambling is a really good thing. Making everything available for direct sale is going to make a lot of people happy. As always, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. In general, I think these are pretty positive changes. So that concludes the video. I'll go Go ahead and check out these changes tomorrow when they go live and probably make another few videos about this. I'll end this video with saying remember that when everything goes for direct sale and stuff it's a really good time to, to scour the GTN. Try to find some good deals. You never know when you might catch someone make a mistake with, 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 with uh, how they list the item but also just in general you might find some really good deals on some items that you've been waiting for for a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the new changes that come and I will see you guys in the next one.